Welcome back to Burn Off the Top MTG. We're in now in stereo. I kind of like that name. Kind of hard to read though. Uh, I am mulling in this hand. I'm going to keep this one and hopefully scry land at the top. Yeah, we punted away round one. So pretty, pretty salty about that one. Put that in the bottom. We need land. So I'm going to play this first. Then we play Rupture Spires next turn, which is kind of nice because it, it gets our red mana for the Bane Fire Splash. And our opponent plays a Wall of Mine, so we're pretty happy about that. That's a pretty bad card, in my opinion. Uh, pay one. Okay. Yes. Because all of those is a 1 mana 0-3 reach. I mean, it doesn't do anything. It just doesn't win the game. Now, in saying that, hello, Wall of Mist. But 5 power is a lot more to get through than uh, 3 power. Well, we did play an Island, so if he plays like a Plains next turn, I guess he could be playing the... the, the 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 thing the what's it called it's called Arcady Saboth I think his name is it's a dragon the defenders so if he goes natural whatever it's called Naya I want to say no well, this guy this guy got me last time oh come on let's not get a repeat here we want we want some exciting games and uh, good decision making or at least give me the chance to make good decisions. I will snap off the block if he attacks, or if he pays three mana, I won't be able to block. And he is using his three mana, so that's a pretty good turn for us. He didn't develop the board, didn't pressure us, so that's really good. Ugh. Well, at least it's uh, something we can play. Always look on the bright side. Could play like a Vigilant Bailoth here and we'd be in pretty bad shape. 5-5 five, five Vigilance. It's in the name. And it's a Bailoth. Oh, he's just doing this again. Okay, this is pretty good for us. I guess his hand is like... Oh god, that means his hand is Colossal Dreadmaw. <laughs> That's pretty bad for us. But we do have two Dwindles. Just need to land. Any land. That's good enough. I don't know why that was doing that. Doesn't have any X ones. Plague Mare not the best here. Could try a cheeky tack to pretend I'm getting a two two, and then he blocks the Greenwood Sentinel. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try it. No, he didn't fall for it. I think I'm gonna play Exclusion Mage. Bounce this guy. Seems decent. Although, maybe that wasn't. Maybe I should have just Bane fired it. Because then he can't do anything. And then if he plays Colossal Dread Mom in a real bad shape. Oh, no, I'm not in real bad shape because of the Dwindles. Still, though. Oh, he is playing the Dragon. I'm pretty sure he's playing the Dragon. That's my read right now. Because, I mean, why else would you play this Wall of Vines? Unless you just really like it. Okay, can't be blocked. Yada yada yada. Man, this guy's putting in work. I'm probably gonna bane fire that next turn. X is two, can't tap for mana, so yeah, there's no point in doing more. And I can't really attack through this wall, so... I guess I can next turn, because I can Plague Mare and t to finish it off. Anticipate to find your Akari Saboth. Leaves up the mana for it as well. I kind of like the look of Rupture Spires. It's pretty cool. So we're hoping to draw like Divination or I guess Bone Dragon with a land. Speaking of Divination, there is one. He talks, I'll block the wall. Or maybe the Doom Center, actually. It's not getting any better. Hmm. 
try and get some value out of this Plague Mare. We do not. Nope. I mean, he would have played all his cr cheap creatures by now. I think I just meant to play this out. I can't do anything else. At least it's a 2-2 that attacks. I mean, he's not doing anything. And we have all the answers for his big creatures, so... Surely it's got to be a Dreadmaw. What? Only a 3-3? Three, I three. guess you drew that off the Divination. Or from your draw step. Why are his creatures so medium? I want to kill them. But I'm not going to use this stuff to kill them. No, I'm just going to pass the turn here. This stuff's way too good to be using on this garbage. Plus he got up multiple... I mean, what's he got in hand? I mean, I just don't even know. Like, auras? Or... He would have used them by now. He would have put it on this and attacked. Uh, big things he would have played, because he has all the mana in the world. So, I really don't know what he has. There's the Arcades. Come on. We knew you had it. That doesn't really do anything. I'm going to block the wall. I'm going to use my kill spell on this. I guess he could have um, Disperse up. But... 3-5 Flying Vigilance for 4 is pretty good. Oh, yeah, that makes sense why you're playing the 2 walls. They are 3-3s. Three and he gets draw a card? That's pretty good. He's going off right now if he plays another... If he plays a wall of mist, come on. Let's go. Let's have a look at this Elder Dragon artwork. I think I like Chromium the best, maybe Nicol Bull less. But Chromium looks pretty badass. So does this guy, he's like lording over his castle. No story though. It's a bit uh, bit sad. I'm going to have to go digging in the archives and read up about the Elder Dragon War. Because it's, it's pretty cool. Now in stereo. Come on, you gotta capitalize these things. I mean, I did, but I have a trash underscore. It looks like the opponent might be like disconnected. Okay, maybe not. Okay, these attacks are like confusing to me because I will. Yeah, this does nothing to copy. This is like this. This is like this. So I don't want to double block this. I want to double block this because I don't want to trade for the wall roots when I'm just going to kill this next turn. And then these are just O3s. These are just terrible. So then the board state will be... I'm left with a wall, but he's left with two walls. It's like... Oh, no, I got a zombie as well. I forgot about the zombie. So I just hope he doesn't have a protection spell for Arcades. Well, that's pretty sweet. I mean, it's bad for us, but walls can't attack, so that's actually good for us. Okay, that's also good for us. Also, I'm tempted to, um... I don't know how many walls he has. This is the problem. I don't know how many walls he has in the stack. But if I just... Oh, then there's still three threes, though, so I should probably kill this. Yeah, I, I should kill this. Because it just gets rid of uh, two three threes. Okay, he didn't have anything. And um, now he has two O threes, but I mean, we're staring at each other. I have an O five and a two two. He's seen a lot of his deck. Uh, we still have our two divinations to draw, which would be gas. Uh, we have bone dragon and mirror image to copy it with. What's this? It's a three five. Okay, <laughs> that doesn't really do anything versus my O five. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm probably gonna play this guy no value. If he plays a blue creature next turn, he's worth a dwindle. He's probably worth a dwindle anyway. Maybe I should just dwindle him. I 
think I'm just going to play this guy and ping him. I kind of like the uh, skeleton archer. Like he's got the one, he's got the like tipped dagger. If he plays a blue creature, I can just uh, first of all I could double block, and second of all I could. Um, what could I do? I could just dwindle it. So. What happened there? What what just happened? Oh oh I forgot. Okay I should have dwindled it. I guess this is better now. It's still not enough to push true though. Gotta play a blue creature. I guess he has a blue creature. Oh, you're dwindling? That's hilarious. Uh, I guess he's pretty desperate here. I will snap off the block, though. Oh, he gets six. He gets trample damage here. That's actually pretty good. Return dwindle. I could have slept there for 10 damage, but I don't know if that's worth it. Not getting attacked back with anything. I don't think there's anything with flash, except for chromium and hard blade, but hard blade's not in this color. Uh, definitely gonna keep attacking every turn with uh, the zombie because, well, unless the board state changes, but I do have a second plague mare in the deck, so. God damn it. Well, maybe he's got some way to get Arcades back, but if he doesn't, the three does nothing. But it is a cool deck, I will say that. Okay, so attack all, copy Skeleton Archer. Although copying a bomb seems so much better. So like then he just like blocks, blocks. I kill the Wall of Vines, it's not great. But then I'm just getting in for three, two a turn. It's not great either. Um, do I want to wait on this smear image? Because if I draw my, my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have two bombs in the deck. If I draw them, it's really good, and these do nothing, so I think I'm going to wait. Uh, no, no real point in attacking with these. I guess I could have for a bluff, but he's just going to snap off the blocks, and I don't have anything, so. So I'm just going to hope to draw one of those big things, copy with mirror image, that's the plan, or like something with flying. Uh, just these aren't worth it to copy. Oh, speaking of flying, okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, these have reach? That's so unfair. God damn it. Are you serious? They have reach? That's outrageous. Okay, attack all water's blocks. Blocks, 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 blocks. I can't even kill the wall. I can kill the wall of vines, though. Skeleton nurture. Alright, I'm just gonna... Ugh, next turn I'll attack. Also, I don't want to, I just don't want to use this on like something you can just block. Oh, Gearsmith Guardian, that's pretty good. So now he wants the block, so he wants to put that on that. There's a 5-5. Five, five. I'm probably gonna dwindle that. Yeah, dwindling that makes sense. Oh, he has a second one of those? Wow. Get wrecked. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So if I dwindle, I get in for 7 and 7 is 14. I mean, that's 14. And I could drain as well. And that's more if I just do it this turn. Yeah, I think I'm going to sleep. I'm probably going to mirror image as well. Do I want the Skeleton Archer or the Skarmarsh Blood Letter? I think I want the Blood Letter. Although this is a 3-3. But this is a Flyer, so it's kind of guaranteed damage. Not forever, but this turn. Come on, sleep is busted. Sleep is busted. Yeah, this is like, what can you do here? Two cards in hand. Surely there's nothing you can do. And even if he does do something, I have a dwindle. Okay, so let's just have a look. Divination, two talons of divine wood. Two divinations anticipate. Walls. A lot of walls. I kind of like the, um, 
the child in the knights versus the walls. So he's not that aggressive, so the these walls can come out. Because without Arcades is just terrible. Um, Millstone might be a good sideboard card, actually. Because it just gets through. Versus, like, Doom to center. I think I like that. Also, Plague Mirror was terrible there. It's been pretty bad. Maybe, like, a Jurass instead of a Plague Mirror. Maybe I should get rid of Plague Mirror as well. Ugh! Oh, I've already submitted. I wanted to get in a hired blade there. Because it just doesn't do anything. I think I'll keep this. It's got a millstone. It's got a plague mirror for defense. If I draw blue, it's good. Yeah, definitely should have taken the plague mirror out and put in a hired blade. That was kind of loose. But we're up a game, so. Although, that's no excuse to play sloppy, but. Ooh, no pressure. I'm loving it. Ooh, ouchie. Okay, I need to draw blue next turn. I guess it's not the worst if we don't draw blue next turn, because he can mill him for two, but I don't really want to be milling him for two when I have no board presence. It's kind of like, oh, natural? Come on, get out of here. Oh, wow, this is such a... I, I, I can snap off what he has in hand. Like, he just kept this, plus Arcades and whatever the other cards were. Uh, so, choices, choices, choices. Divination. I could Plague Mare that does nothing, but it's going to do nothing anyway. Um, I can always... I think I play a creature. Not this, obviously. Plague Mare? I mean, it's just doing nothing. Damn, I wish this was a hard blade. Hard blade is so much better because it gets through the O3, which I should have considered. Yeah, I think I'll just play this out. I don't have the mana for this guy next turn. Next turn, I can just Divination. Oh, so his... Uh, of course, so he's not going to play his walls before he can play Arcades because then he gets to draw a card. So now he's going to play Arcades course. How did I not see that coming? Oh, the answer off the top. I love it. Yeah, I'm just going to murder this guy. Because he has like two walls in hand, which I, they don't do anything, and then I'm just going to mill him out. And he has like two divination in his deck, so he won't want to cast those later on in the game, maybe if I'm milling him out. Like, what's he gonna do now? Play like two, three walls? A oh, one, okay. But there's a wall of mist. This is a 0 3. I'm loving this. Oh, I'm really liking the. Oh, he's got a 2 2. Okay, so we can trade with that. Right, I'm gonna div to hit land drops here. There's the land. Pass the turn. Trade with this. If he, if he ores anything, we've got Excursion Maze plus Mirror Image, so it's really good. If we get into a board style, I will mill him out. Get some water, stay hydrated. Uh-oh, he's, he's got something big. That's a flyer. We can just dwindle that, it's fine. We'll have to take three for our troubles. It's not the worst, though. See what's in hand. Two land. Okay, interesting. More defenders. More defenders. You get a defender, and you get a defender. No point attacking. Ooh, I wish this said target player draws two cards. What did he play? Oh, Divination. That was a good draw for him. Please play an island. I love when they do that. They didn't do it. Invoke the divine. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Getting hit for three a turn. Okay. So I could sleep, but it's not really a great use of sleep. I could also excursion mage, but then he gets to attack for three. I could Mystic Archaeologist. I'd need blue to draw two cards. Um, mirror image. Mirror, mirror on the wall. What to do? Oh, I can't even sleep because I need double blue. 
I think the place is probably Mystic Archaeologist and then mill them for two. Do it in the end step. Leave up murder. I don't know. Uh, he knows I don't know murder. I would murder this. Plays the forest. And all his cards. So we do. We're a little bit worried here. See what we mill. I mean, uh, what do you dwindle and an island? Could get a bunch of plague bears. I guess I could just bounce this three turns in a row and mill him out. Not mill him out, but mill him quite significantly until we draw red or asleep or whatever. He gets to attack for three, and then I just double block, but I don't want to lose this. So maybe I just bounce this first. Yeah, let's see. Or I bounce the wall and attack for two. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I guess I'll bounce the two, two. Yeah, I get it. <clears throat> I'll get in for... Uh, uh, Gideon's reproach is in this format, right? <laughs> Hope it's not. Uh, so we just need to find two of our. Th yeah, there's two dwindles left. There's a Lich's Caress left. So a bunch of outs. And also we can just start bouncing it if we need need be. He's flooding out pretty hard. Doesn't help when I start milling his spells. Although it is completely random when I mill. Actually, you got to mill people out in the pre-release with patient mending. That card is busted and sealed. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Yeah, and just in the nick of time there, because that, that ability is really strong. We basically can't block then, and we would just take lethal. I could just sleep and attack for six. Then we get an extra turn. Start bouncing things. It seems re yeah, it seems decent. And we still get to mill him for four. Well, two, and then maybe four. And like next turn we could just, um, well, we could draw two cards, but then, no, no, we need to do something. But we don't want to yield through the turn, we want to mill them out. Ooh, perfect, okay. So we can either, I think killing this is better because then he just gets in for five a turn, so. So I want to leave these two back because he gives removal spell. 5 and 5 and 5 is 15 versus 3 and 3 and 3 and 3 is 12. So yeah, that's 4 turn clock versus 2 turn clock, or 3 turn clock. So only going to attack for 2 here because why not? And second of all, we want to mill him out. And we're on 11, so we do have 4 turns to live. As far as we know. But we did mill that, I forgot about that, didn't take that into account, that was bad by me. So now we're on a three turn clock. Well, okay, yeah, three turn clock on the dot. So I think the time to start bouncing that is now. Then we kind of mill him for four turn. I think he's probably gonna get milled out. Unless something crazy happens. Ooh, Bone Dragon's a good one. And it's a great one to copy. Although he does have Hero Monster's Cage. So it's a, if he has Hero Monster's Cage plus 
Um, so specifically, um, what's that card called? Like Giant Growth or any Pump Spell, I lose. So I probably want to play around losing. So I should just bounce this. He plays it again. This gets plus one, plus one. I just double block with like the bounce guys or whatever. Mill him out. Oh, Bone Dragon's so sweet though. But if he has those two, like, so one card in hand, so he, like, here answers cages and then draws a pump spell off the top. That's so unlikely. That's so unlikely. And we didn't see any pump spells game one. So the upside is just ridiculous because the next turn I get th two more Bone Dragons. But we definitely win this game anyway because we just bounce. Mill you for two. He goes to 13. Bounce. Well, maybe we don't. Okay, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna play a Bone Dragon. It can't be that bad. Although, mm, ugh, I don't know. Not gonna attack. Let's see, Plummet, end step Plummet, that'd be gross. I don't think we showed him many flowers except for, okay, he didn't have it. Drew. Very likely to draw spells here. He's so many lands out. 5, 7, 10, 11 lands. Only 6 left in the deck. Hopefully one in his hand. Hopefully we're not dead here. That is Trample? Wow, I should have... Interesting. Well, it still blocks. Like, like I said, he needs two cards here, so... Uh-oh. Dwindle. Okay. So that is Trample anyway, so I shouldn't block it, right? If he has a pump spell... Oh, no, if he has a pump spell, I'm dead anyway, because it just it, it, it's destroyed, so, yeah. All right, two perfect cards. Do you have it? I'm not going to block. You didn't have it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but Mirror Image copies... Like, not the Dwindle. Oh, that's beautiful. That's just beautiful. Ooh, that is that is extremely beautiful. He said nice in the chat. I mean, I still could lose. I mean, he could have like double band spell or something like that. All right, he's getting pretty unfortunate here. I'll probably double block this because if he has a home spell, you know, that's really bad for us. We'd die. Gonna triple block because also I can get the third bone dragon back. So why not? I could mill myself. Nice little combo there. How many cards? I guess I'll seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Other cards. Yeah, I could mill myself. Yeah, the fact that it has trample, that's what he's that's what his main game is here. I think I'm gonna just get that back. Is it return tapped? Could draw two cards as well. That's pretty sweet. I, do I want to attack here? So let's say removal spell plus pump spell. I probably don't want to attack here. Just play ultra safe. Go to, if I attack for five, he goes to seven, then he's dead next turn. And then three blockers, double block, triple block. Yeah, I'm gonna attack. Right? Plus four, plus four, seven damage. Uh, minus five, because five toughness. I take two, go to one. Yeah, that seems all right. Does he have another one in the grave? No. 
there's one in hand. I'll die to that. Plus, no, I'm playing a win here. So this this is uh, lethal next turn. So he has to kill me this turn, or I kill him the next turn. So hopefully he just scoops, because I think he needs two specific cards, and he did. And Whew, I'm glad we won that one. And Millstone was a good sideboard plan, but we didn't need it because we had three, five, four bone dragons. That was sweet. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.